Unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, have become a popular item within agriculture. But the rules and regulations around the systems are a bit cloudy. Later this year, the FAA is expected to propose rules on drones that weigh less than 55 pounds. Despite the uncertainty, national reporter Tyne Morgan met a drone maker whose business is really taking off. Eyes in the sky. Already unmanned aerial systems are catching on and gaining momentum in agriculture. Think of it as a cell phone. Think of it as a personal computer where it started off small early adopters. Then the technology advanced and, and it became more user friendly. Today, Kansas-based Ag Eagle is breaking ground in new aerial technology. The biggest advantage of what we provide is the chance for farmers, first time ever, to have an overall view of their field completely from like they are the personal airplane. Up to this point, it was an expensive proposition. Unlike an actual plane, these aircrafts are easy to use. The brain behind the Ag Eagle is Brett Chilcott. He says the Ag Eagle comes as a package deal with three pieces of software. One that flies the aircraft and two that stitches the images together. He says it's a very complex system, but the complexity is what makes the UAV so easy to use. The easy part of flying the aircraft is simply you pull it up on your computer, a map, an overview of, of, of the field, you outline that field and the computer automatically generates a scan pattern and tells the aircraft where to fly. It's all, um, you know, Google Earth, so you pull up your field, plot out a course, and you tell the plane to fly that course, and it does its thing. Now, we're at their launch site, which is just outside of Neotache at the airport, and as you can see, it's extremely windy, but despite these 35, 40 mile per hour winds, the Ag Eagle drone can still take off, fly, and land. We use fiberglass, carbon fiber, we use fiberglass rod, carbon fiber rod, uh, we use uh, various uh, epoxies and other composites to make this aircraft tough, strong, durable, and so they can use it without one being overly concerned that they're going to damage it. The UAV can fly a square mile in 30 minutes while capturing images and churning out data, but the team says this is just a start. It has exploded. Uh, we are out in California uh, flying almond groves just two weeks ago. We've been over cotton fields down in Texas. We've been to Iowa over the cornfields. They say as more sensors are added, the more tricks this aircraft will be able to do. Right now we're taking photos. Later on we can do thermal sensing. We can find lost cattle. We can track animals uh, so that livestock owners with large pastures don't lose their livestock. And just like a smartphone, these founders say they hope to have new add-ons come out each week. And that's why they say the sky is the limit for the future of ag drones. Ag Eagle hoped to sell 100 drones their first year. Already they've more than doubled that goal. At this rate, demand is outpacing supply. So they hope to expand to meet a growing desire to own your own ag drone.